Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Ansible Automation. Today we are going to install and configure Ansible in my server. But before getting started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification. Now let's get started. And before installing the Ansible, okay, just make sure that Ansible has been already installed on your computer. Just type in Ansible and double tap on the tab key and as you can see nothing is happening so Ansible is not yet installed on your computer. Now let's go ahead and install Ansible. We are using the sudo access so uh, this is the uh, command sudo yum install iPhone one and simple. So as you can see the package is getting installed. So let's wait for a moment. Okay, now you can see the message it shows the Ansible the installed version. 2.7 and the minor version is 1 and here it shows it has been completed successfully so now let us check again the Ansible's installation has been successful or not I'm just typing in Ansible and double tapping on the tab key now I can see the Ansible related commands are listing me so Ansible configuration has been done successfully now let us go ahead and start the configuration there are three main files and two main files and one directory that needs to be configured in order for our ansible to get started and working properly now just make sure that the very first directory that we need to create is ansible from where we are going to configure the files just make sure that you are in your working directory your home directory it should be a primary working directory over here create your directory name and simple this can be any name of your choice just for learning purpose and making sure that it is named as ansible so have created just we have created the ansible directory and it shows up right over here now we have to create two more files and we have to create that file inside the ansible directory that we have created just now the cd to the ansible directory that we created and put pwd the present working directory and checking and double checking the location now to create a file now we are creating an inventory file where we can save our server entry so here i am going to create the inventory file va is for vim editor i am choosing vim editor and the name of the inventory file is I'm giving here it as inventory file so that it will be easy for us for reference I am pressing escape and then the I button so it goes to the insert mode and here I am typing the server name that I want to manage it using Ansible playbooks and Ansible commands now just again double verify me the entry that I made server the name of the server that I am going to manage is server e. so I have just entered the name of the server and making sure that the inventory file is available and another file that I need to create is Ansible configuration file and the name of the file is should end in .cfg format again for our um, lab purpose I'm giving ansible.cfg and uh, you can maintain the same for yourself as well. 
here I'm pressing escape and then the insert I key. Here we need to put two entries. One is the default entry and another one that is for the privileged is escalation. Under the default, here we need to give uh, the user so we are going to execute all the commands using the DevOps user. This user should be available in the server A that we have just created the entry in the inventory file. That is one server, and the DevOps user should be available in that server and also in a workstation server. So I am using going to execute all the Ansible commands using this DevOps user. And here again, I need to give the entry the inventory file. The location of the inventory file, which is the Ansible direct under my home directory the name of the inventory this is something that the inventory has to create here and the privilege test creation I'm going to give become equals to true which means that a DevOps user which we have mentioned here will run as a root user, the sudo user in the server A. I am saving this file. So here you can see the entries in our Ansible directory. These are the two entries ansible.cfg file and the inventory file I'll just to verify the content in the ansible.cfg which is nothing but the ansible configuration file here we have two headers default and the privileged escalation so these are the two main basic entries that needs the ansible uh, file to get started while we are executing the ansible commands or ansible playbooks so this this is the main important configuration file that ansible checks for the required information in order to execute the commands now let us check we need to check another important uh, value so here i am executing this command Okay, here we can see that it shows uh, uh, some mistakes in the entry file. So let us see uh, what the mistake is. Actually, uh, So let us execute the command again. Here we have to make sure that this command is executed on server E, which is the entry in the inventory file, and it should be under the root ID. It should not be under the DevOps user. This command is getting executed as a sudo user. So we are fine with the configuration files so far. Now let's get uh, checking the user. DevOps user has been uh, configured successfully. Now let's do a small ping command. Visible server E on the ping. So this should give the output of the thing. Yes. So this is successful. Our configuration file is successful, and we are able to successfully execute on Ansible command. Uh, 
and the response is on for the ping it is giving us the response as well which means it has received uh, the acknowledgement has been confirmed that we are getting the play from server ea and also the output shows a success so we have successfully configured installed ansible configured uh, the created ansible files and also we are able to ping the server successfully using ansible command thank you for watching the video